Well, off my video shelf this week, a classic anime. You know, one, one great thing is when a story comes to a, a finale, to a close, you know, some hit the mark, uh, some fail, you know. A uh, perfect example, Game of Thrones, how that failed. Uh, how um, the Promised Netherland has f failed as well. Uh, but this particular anime, which has been around since I was a youngin, uh, and I saw this on Nippon television back in the day. I mean, this goes back to the late 70s, 1979 to be exact. Now, the movie came in a lot, there were two movies, came, this came a lot later. This was the finale, two, two hour, 10 minute movie that was done. This is one of the only um, animes of the entire series that has an English dub. In fact, uh, the dubs were done by New World and also Ocean has given a dub for it as well. And this is the Adu Galaxy Express 3.9. If, and I've discussed this before, but if you're not familiar with uh, Galaxy Express 3.9, it is a great story. It's about a young boy who looks to become uh, in a world where people are starting to convert themselves to a more robotic type sense. Uh, they're putting themselves into robots. You know, only the rich is able to do that. And uh, on his way in the middle of a storm, uh, him and his mother uh, are attacked by some of these robots, and the, the rich ones, and basically she's murdered. And he seeks revenge on it. And he meets up with a mysterious woman named Maytel that allows him to go on a special train that travels the galaxy called uh, Gal 39, Galaxy Express 39. Of course, that's the name of the title on there. Uh, the story has branched off and given some side animes, including if you're familiar with Captain Harlock, this is where Captain Harlock started out. And because uh, he's one of the characters in, in, in this show. But uh, after a long series itself, this movie is the finale of all finales on there. It is well done in itself. This is basically uh, to the perspective, if you don't understand what Galaxy Express is, the, you know, in our lives, we do grow up and learn things. We have a journey. And that is what Galaxy Express is. It is a journey of life. The series starts out, Tetsuru, who's the main character of the series, as a young boy. By the time you reach Adu at Galaxy Express, he is a man. And that is what the story is, is going from being a boy, growing up, throwing away all the childish things, as you would say, and learning to be an adult. And one thing about this, we everything that basically throughout the series that we were trying to understand what it is, how it is, what is the reason for the robots in the world, these, these droids that are taking over the world and murdering all the humans. The, the, a war broke out between humans and these robots. And where do these robots come from? Where do they originate? Because there is, there is a place. Uh, all those who are involved, the stories, the basically, you know, uh, people that are in Tetsuru's life, that there are shocking re re revelations in his life that brings this forward, the things that happen, and the revelation of who may tell it. Yeah, you hear my voice a bit, it's a little strong. You know, when I discuss this, it, it's such a strong and pointed movie to the perspective that, you know, you, you have to understand where this is coming from. And like I said, the animation, this is hand-drawn animation. I, and the transfer, Discotech uh, Media did the transfer of this. And they did a decent job of it. Better than what Funimations can do. There are some improvements that need to be made to it. But obviously, this is one of the best uh, discs you can get, you can buy. 
uh, for this series. Um, you know, this is a series that basically created by Lijun Mats Matsumoto. And the screenplay was done by Hiroso Yamamoro. Um, so well written. I have to say it is so well written on here. And like I said, the, the Blu-ray, I have the VHS version of this. I have the DVD version of this. And I have the Blu-ray version of this. In fact, the Blu-ray that I got has a replica ticket of the Galaxy Express 39. So I'm waiting for my chance to go aboard that. No, I'm kidding on that. Um, but yeah, it you know, it is great. And the thing about it is, you know, a lot of... Like I said, there are people that know that there's no English dub of the original series. And to hear an English dub of this version is fantastic. The, the, the dub is done very well. Both the Ocean and the New World dubs, they're both very well done. The audio itself, it is done in the Blu-ray version. It's Japanese 5.1 uh, 5 surround. And it does have the original Japanese mono track. Trust me on this. Watch it in both versions, all, all the versions you can. English, Japanese, the mono track. It, it, it still works very well for it. I mean, this is, it, you know, to see the quality work on this in a more crisper look. I mean, today, you know, we're using the computers. This is some of the top hand-drawn stuff that you, that is missed in this industry. You know, the, you, you know, you got some great animation out there and you got some great anime out there. But when you look at this, this is phenomenally excellent. You cannot get away from this. Like I said, it is well done. It, it is a great story. You know, we need great stories. This is a great story, a story of growing up and becoming a man and, it, it, you know, when you get to that point, you are, I guarantee you, you're going to try to hold back the tears. But that, this ending, the ending on this movie will set you in tears. You know, because basically, you know, for someone like myself who watched the entire series and to get to this point with Adu, I saw Adu originally years ago when it first came out, when it first hit VHS. And to see it, and after seeing everything else, and to get everything wrapped up the way a series should wrap up a series, it is fantastic. And then you could move on to the other series. I mean, there's some other great series out of this. You know, they 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 they, they have stretched out Galaxy Express. This is one series that needs, uh, even though there is a Blu-ray of the TV series. It needs a full restoration. It needs a proper restoration on there. I mean, the the one the Blu-rays of the TV series, uh, it it's fine. It's 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 well, you know, it's it's done well. But I think we can go a little further and tweak it just a little bit more and get a proper English dub for those who like English dub. I think it's time that Galaxy Express gets its English dub. Same thing like with the Captain Har the original Captain Harlock series. Captain Harlock is not in English. It is um, only in Japanese. You can watch, if you're, if, if, if you're interested to watch these series, um, Tubi TV does have these available on there. And I think Retro Crush does also have some of it available on their, on their site as well. Free, of course, to you viewers out there that are connoisseurs of the anime world. But this, you know, we talk about Akita, we talk about Ghost in the Shell and all that. People don't look back at Galaxy Express. Galaxy Express is one of the top-notch animes in history itself. You know, same thing with Cyborg 009, same thing with uh, Ikusan, and many other animes that were out there. These are animes that are forgotten in history and has to be pushed back out again. You know, uh, Disco Tech Media happens to be one of those companies that do give some love to their product when they put it out, when they get the licensing. 
they work with the original prints and stuff like that. Not the garbage that Funimation puts out on their uh, Dragon Ball box sets. Only one box set is well to purchase. Hard to get now. That should be the box set that should be out currently. If any restoration or anything like that, it should be restored just like that original box set. You know, you got Robotech coming up also through Funimations, and I don't think they're going to do a good job on it, honestly. You can get the Blu-ray on this uh, from Amazon for about $30. Uh, the TV series, uh, you're looking at about, you're going to spend some money. Uh, $56 per volume. There are several volumes of that. Uh, if you want to get the Blu-ray, I mean, not the Blu-ray, the DVD version of it, um, it is around uh, $20 as well. The VHS version um, is available out there if you could find it. Uh, new, you're go probably going to spend up to $30. Used, you'll probably spend uh, $19. If you could find it, it has been sold out everywhere. It, to show you that this, for the connoisseur out there, it is, you know, something that should be in your collection. If you have not got this in your collection yet, go get it today. I'm telling you, if you've never heard this before, it's well worth it. Start out with the series, finish with a do. You're going to love this series. And remember, this is a series from 1979. Thank you.